Hello friends, myself Manish Muljandani and I secured third rank in NWED 2017. I'll be sharing some of my success strategies with you. Uh, so friends, uh, as far as an, uh, a tough examination like NEET is concerned, so for any examination, the basic non-academic parts that are required are same. For example, first thing is that you should have an aim. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam always said that uh, your aim should be decided, your aim should be fixed and until and unless you have an aim, you cannot succeed. So one thing that you should do before starting your preparation is that you should set a name which should be final. You should not keep on changing that. Your mindset should be fixed. And it is very well said that you should ha you should dream. You should definitely dream. But dreams are not which you see while sleeping. But dreams are those which do not let you sleep. So friends, it's very important that first of all, uh, we should decide that uh, the preparation strategy as far as the NEET examination is concerned can be divided into two parts. One is rank based preparation and another is selection based preparation. Uh, rank based preparation as the name suggests is that we aspire for the top 10, uh, top 10 ranks, top 100 ranks or top 1000 ranks. right? And another is selection based preparation which emphasizes on grabbing one of the seats of the MBBS medical college. So as far as the NWT examination 2017 was concerned, about 30,000 seats uh, were available in the government medical colleges. right? So, uh, my, but, uh, my personal suggestion is that one should on only aspire for uh, any government medical college seat, not for the ranks. Because after you complete your MBBS, it hardly matters that from which college you uh, completed, right? So, according to me, what the most practical thing is that you should have a aim of grabbing one of those 30,000 seats which are available in the government medical uh, government MBBS colleges. So, once you have set your aim, that I have to grab one of that seat. So you should have high level of commitment towards it. You should be ready to sacrifice anything and your sole intention should be to grab one of that seat. You have to say that wo seat meri hai. I have to grab that seat anyhow and I won't allow anyone else to grab that seat. Wo seat pe to keval mera hi naam likha hai, wo seat meri hi hai. Is commitment ke saath, is hard willpower, dar sankal ke saath hume aage badna hai. But keval sapna dekhna, keval kasam khana, keval lakshya set karna, this is not enough. Apart from that, you need high level of commitment and dedication towards your aim. Like in these, uh, for example, if you have two years of preparation or one year for preparation, which is uh, sufficient, two years are uh, more than sufficient for the preparation. So you should be ready to sacrifice anything and you should be ready to do everything which is required for you to grab that seat. For example, uh, the most common distraction which we find nowadays is of social media. So we should quit social media for only these two years. Uh, it does not mean that we should delete our account. We should deactivate it or we should stop using it. And after we we grab that seat, after we get admission into a good college, then we can again resume these things and these things will continue lifelong. So my personal suggestion was what I also did was to stop Facebook and Twitter totally for these two years. Uh, but this does not mean that we should distance um, uh, ourselves from the smartphones. The smartphone should be our study tool. Like my uh, personal experience with phone was very good. I used a very uh, good quality device, iPhone 5s, uh, which was not for playing games or which was not for cl uh, clicking selfies and all. It was basically meant for uh, using the internet to pursue uh, greater knowledge. If something is not available in the books, we can uh, use the internet to uh, gain some more information about the same. Also, I use WhatsApp for sharing my queries and some photographs with my faculties. And my faculties were also very cooperative. They replied over uh, to me on uh, through WhatsApp. So I got instant solutions to my problems and therefore WhatsApp was one of my important study tool. So in this modern world, definitely Baba Adam ka jamana hai nahi ki hum. So I do not suggest that students should use uh, paper uh, button phones or uh, the old phones which are uh, outdated now. We should use smartphones, but uh, there are pros and cons of everything. If you use smartphone for gaming, if you use smartphone for uh, cl clicking selfies or for communicating with friends or for using social media, so this will be a distraction and which will definitely uh, take you away from your goal. So smartphone should be our handy study tool. And what's, what's also required for any aim is that you have to sacrifice parties, you have to sacrifice all the programs, all the family programs, you have to avoid going in, uh, to movies. Uh, my personal experience with movies, I only watched two to three movies in these two years. 
so what i personally recommend to students is that once it's not actually the duration it's actually the effect which the movies have on your mind the movies will always divert you or will always weaken your concentration when you study so we should totally avoid uh, watching movies uh, for these two years we should always uh, avoid to avoid hangouts with friends we should avoid going to malls and all for celebrating with friends uh, because only for these two years we can sacrifice then our career will be a bright one uh, apart from that one most impo- the most important thing which is required for reaching to your dream destination is hard work without hard work nothing is possible there are no shortcuts to success ek hi tarika hai succeed karne ka wo hai keval aapko mehnat karni hai aapko hard work to karna hi hai theek hai aur iske alawa hard work aisa nahi hai ki kuch bhi kare hard work should be in the right direction to hame keval unhi points ko padhna chahiye keval unhi topics ko padhna chahiye jo hamare exam point of view se relevant hai instead of studying many books instead of studying the books of foreign authors we should uh, more or less focus on what the examination asks we should uh, first of all see what the exam the what the pattern of the examination is what the level of the questions they ask what the mindset of the question setter is right after we uh, are familiar with these things then we should start a preparation uh, that was for the non academic part uh, let's switch on to the academic part now as far as the academic part is concerned first of all uh, while preparing for neat we should have a, a, a de- we should do a detailed analysis of the neat papers and also of the ai pmt papers of the last 7 8 years so once we do it we'll find that most of the questions asked in the examination are directly from the ncert textbook also we'll be making an important uh, point that the level of the questions is not very high the questions are easy and the the objective of the neat examination is not to test the knowledge of the students but the objective of the examination is to test the speed to test the accuracy mindset the state of mind and the temperament of the student right your knowledge is not going to get you admission into a college but your score is going to get you admission and it would be your score which will ultimately dictate which kind of knowledge you possess the level of knowledge you possess so as far as the endability uh, examination preparation is concerned we should not focus on knowledge we should focus on score we should somehow uh, try to score more out of the existing knowledge like in a paper of 720 marks uh, which uh, is according to the neat pattern yadi humne attempt kiya koi bhi test humne diya to uske baad humne dekha ki let's say i am getting 550 marks so uh, uh, after test a very important part is test analysis and a test is incomplete without test analysis so we should analyze that with the existing knowledge if we had not done any silly mistake if we had done all the calculations correctly what maximally could have scored so when we we'll analyze this uh, let's say uh, we find that we could have scored about 600 marks so this difference 600 minus 550 is what uh, i call as gap and students believe me in reaching your dream medical college this gap will be the factor which will be the major barrier for you and once you are successful in bridging this gap no one would be able to stop you from getting getting into that college and it was my personal strategy i first of all focused on these questions which i miss but they were in my knowledge and i personally recommend that we should not bother about the rest of the 120 marks questions which were not in our knowledge because first of all we should learn to attempt all the questions correctly which were from our knowledge and after that we should increase our content base uske baad hum apna content bada ke un baki ke 120 marks ko bhi hum score karne ki koshish kar sakte hain lekin sabse pehle jo important part hai ki hame jitne aata hai na utne number hamare examination mein aane hi chahiye it's a crime if we do not do that and it's a crime not to anyone else but to ourselves isiliye aap apne sabse pehle jitne aapko number aate hain apna gap minimize karne ki koshish kijiye jitne aap marks ka aapko aata hai utne marks aapko score karne hain har test mein aur test mein नीट का पेपर देखेंगे तो उसमें समझ में आएगा जिससे मैं सब्जेक्ट वाइज बात करता हूँ सो एज फार एज द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द बायोलॉजी फॉर द एनडबिलिटी एग्जामिनेशन इज कंसर्न फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हेन वील एनालाइज द पेपर्स द प्रीवियस एग्जामिनेशन पेपर्स वील फाइंड दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द एन सी टेक्स्ट बुक इफ आई से द पेपर ऑफ द नीट टू थाउजेंड एग्जामिनेशन वॉज ईजी एंड वंस यूल एनालाइज इट यू विल फाइंड दैट अबाउट एटी थ्री और एटी फोर आउट ऑफ नाइनटी और डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द एन सी आर बुक that simply means that for the preparation of biology for ndbt ncert is our bhagavad gita and we should trust ncert each and every statement each and every diagram each and every table of ncert should be on our tips 
and once we have covered the NCRT totally, then we can switch on to some other uh, material which the coaching provides or which your teachers uh, suggest. Uh, but the important part is you should not run for those 6 to 7 questions which were not from the NCRT textbook. The reason being that those questions were very tough and those questions were uh, actually uh, some out of the box kind of questions. They were actually not framed from this level and even uh, many teachers found it difficult to answer such questions. So my personal suggestion to students is what I also followed is that you should not focus on these questions. Because ultimately these questions will be tough for everyone. If you, you should have a strong mindset that if this question if this question is tough for me, it would be tough for everyone else. So this kind of confidence you should have. And believe me, everyone will find those questions tough. And you should not run for those questions. And for the biology, as far as covering uh, the points from non uh, as far as the non-NCRT portion is concerned, I personally recommend that we should not stress on it. And only those points should be covered which have been addressed in any other previous year examination like DPMT or AIMS or even JIPMER if you like. And apart from that, some points which are dictated by your teachers and are and have been marked as important. Star lagwaye gaye jo points hai, un points ko aap cover kijiye. Bhot jada in biology mein hume MSc level ya MBBS level ki padhai karne ki jarurat nahi hai. As far as physics is concerned which is generally a fear for every medical aspirant. So we should see that the level of questions asked in physics is very low. It's like if you know the formula, you have to simply put the value and get the answer and you will be getting four marks for that. So one very important aspect of physics is that you have to be non-mathematical for the need preparation. Integration and differentiation will be very, very less useful. Uh, they'll be hardly used in one or two question out of the 45 questions they ask. The rest of the questions out 3 to 4 questions will be theoretical which would be very easy and uh, the rest questions will be of the type put the value and get the answer. So for physics one important aspect is that you should not stress on derivations, you should not stress on uh, the mechanism. You should prepare a formula copy in which you should uh, write all the formulas which were uh, uh, which you studied in, an, in a chapter and you should regularly keep on reviewing that copy. because. Once you have memorized all the formulas, there will be you will ha be hardly needing any practice to put values into that formula and uh, to solve the question, right? So once you have learned the formulas, आपको marks आने से कोई नहीं रोक सकता physics में. Physics से डरने की जरूरत नहीं है. Physics का level बहुत कम है neat examination का. तो हमें केवल उसी level की preparation करनी चाहिए. ज़्यादा हमें J level की तरफ, J examination की तरफ divert नहीं होना चाहिए. Chemistry की यदि हम बात करें. तो सबसे पहले मैं आयुष की बात करता हूँ इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री। तो इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड ओनली फ्रॉम द एनसीआरटी। एस फार एस द ब्लॉक स्टडीज कंसर्न, इट शुड बी होली सेंटर्ड अराउंड द एनसीआरटी एंड ओनली अ वेरी फ्यू पॉइंट्स व्हिच आर वेरी कन्वेंशनल एंड मार्क्ड बाय योर टी so friends, बहुत simple सी बात है कि दो तीन बातें। जब आप periodic classification में या bonding में जो exceptions पढ़ेंगे, they'll be addressed again in block study. So you'll be getting another opportunity to memorize them, to understand them, and only some exceptions are addressed in the examination, which are very very common, which are very very famous. For example, no one will ask you value based exceptions, right? But everyone will ask you some common exceptions like the electron gain enthalpy of chlorine is greater than that of fluorine, which is not as per the regular trend. So only some exceptions which are contrary to the regular trend will be addressed in the examination and every exception is not at all important. As far as organic chemistry is concerned, one very good thing for the NEET examination is that they, do, they never stress on mechanism. Uh, hardly in the NWT examination in 2017 I remember, there was only a single question based on mechanism for which the mechanism should be clear. Apart from that, all the questions in organic chemistry were very easy. If you know the reaction, you can definitely get the answer. And the weightage of organic chemistry in NEET is slightly higher than that of physical and inorganic chemistry. You have to memorize all the reactions of organic and inorganic chemistry. And for memorizing uh, what I do, what I particularly did was to again and again write those reactions. Jitni bar aap likhenge, aapki pakad utni yada banegi, wo aapki tips par aati jayenge reaction aur aapka question exam mein galat nahi hoga. 
so one important thing is you, you do not need to stress on the mechanism or the common names only those common names are of the compounds are important which are mentioned in the NCRT rest are not at all important and as far as the preparation of physical chemistry is concerned uh, the 11th portion of the portion of class 11th physical chemistry is just like physics you have to prepare a formula copy for the same and once you know the formula you will be getting the answer and no one will be able to frame any question in the neat examination because the level of the questions asked in the physical chemistry the level of the numeric, uh, numerical problems will be very easy so physical chemistry mein bhi aapko 11th mein ghabrane ki zarurat nahi jo 12th physical chemistry hai usme aap logo ko ncrt padhni padegi 12th physical chemistry mein kuch topics hai jaise ki surface chemistry solution solid state jinme bahut zyada theory hai jinme bahut zyada examples hai to in examples mein aapko zyada kitabein nahi karni keval ncrt ki book karni hai usse aapka kaam ho jayega to isi se hame ye hai ki uh, physics ki jo NCRT book hai, that is not at all important for neat examination. Only uh, the theory of some chapters like semiconductors and wave optics is important. Uh, the textbook of 11th physical chemistry is also uh, NCRT textbook is also not important, but that of 12th physical chemistry is very important. Organic chemistry NCRT is uh, not very important, but should be studied. And for inorganic chemistry NCRT is just like Bhagavad Gita. So friends, uh, do not panic and just stress on these points and you will be easily able to grab your MBBS seat. Thank you and best of luck.